Welcome to Willie and Workshop, where work is done just for fun. This series of videos will cover the journey taken to create a whirly gig showing four figurines working in a shed. Each one is different in design and drive mechanisms. I will not be showing how to use any equipment as there are people who can do that better than me. I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I did. The journey consists of 12 sections. Some sections will be a standalone video while others will be combined into one. This is the first which contains this introduction, a few notes on design and a description of the major parts of the project. This part deals with the design of the Whirly Gig. The design is a combination of known designs in addition to my experience from making other Whirly Gigs. There are two main components that define the overall design. They are the choice of figurines and the distance between the drive shafts. The choice of figurines is a very important part. A detailed design of each is required, which can come from Willy Gig books or by reverse engineering of pictures. A plan view of the intended figures is required to determine the extent and the position of each item on the floor. Each plan view will show the location of the figurine, the hole in the floor required for the connectors, any other holes required for attaching to the floor, the location of any screws, the drive shaft centre line, and the footprint of the floor. The second component is the location of the three drive trains. This is determined by the necessary distance between the figurines and the distance determined by the size of the driving cogs. The combination creates the layout of the floor. This layout goes a long way in determining the other parts such as the base and the spacing of the pillars to design the sides of the shed and the roof. The wheelie gig can be divided into separate but related parts. They are the four figurines, the floor, the base, the three drive trains, the wind vane, the shed, the propeller, and the mounting. The next video in the journey is about the construction of the four figurines. So if you have any comments, on how I can improve, please post them in the comments. Thank you. Have a nice day.